Welcome back to Jet Well. Last video, we rank natin ang mga movies ng MCU Infinity Saga. This time, we're gonna do Leonardo DiCaprio movies. Like MCU movies, so difficult to decide at mag rank ng mga movies ng video. Sobrang gaganda din kasi ng mga movies niya. Halos lahat. So, if you're a Leonardo DiCaprio fan, sakto sa inyo to. And let me know your top 12 video movies by commenting down below. And for those people who loves to watch films or looking for some movies to watch, try this top 12. Okay, for my top 12, it's a 1998 film, The Man in the Iron Mask. Kasama niya dito si Jeremy Irons na gumanap bilang Alfred sa Batman vs. Superman at Justice League. If gusto nyo or familiar kayo sa Three Musketeers, check this out. All for one, one for all. My top 11 is a 2013 film, The Great Gatsby. Kasama niya naman dito ang kanyang best friend na si Tobey Maguire, ang ating unang Spider-Man. The Great Gatsby is a tale of impossible love, dreams, and tragedy. Top 10! My top 10 is a 1993 film, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Kasama niya naman dito si Johnny Depp, a.k.a. Jack Sparrow, Edward Scissorhands, Grindelwald, at marami pang iba. Movies niya naman kaya next ko. Back to the topic. This is about a young man who cares for his widowed mother and a 17-year-old brother with autism while attempting to live his own life. That 17-year-old boy... Sobrang bata niya pa dito pero ang galing niya ng umarte pranks. By the way, this movie is not a film to enjoy but to acknowledge, appreciate, respect, and value. Top 9! My top 9 is a 1995 film, Basketball Diaries. Kasama niyo naman dito si Mark Wahlberg ng Ted at Transformers. Masasabi ko siguro na every kids, every teenagers should watch this movie with a parental guidance. So far, this is the best anti-drug movie I've ever seen and one of the deepest character Leo portrayed. Lalo na yung withdrawal scene niya dito, ang galing grabe effective. Down to top 8. Top 8 is a 1996 film, Romeo and Juliet. Kasama niya naman dito si Nadjan Leguizamon and John Wick, Paul Rudd the Ant-Man, at si Claire Danes ng Homeland series as Juliet. I can say that this is the best movie version of the novel. If you're a Shakespeare fan and loves to watch romantic and tragic movies, check this out. Top 7 is a 2006 film, Blood Diamond. Kasama niya dito si Najaiman Hansu at Jennifer Connelly. This movie is about the dark truths of diamond trading in Sierra Leone. Pinakita dito kung gano'ng kahirap yung sitwasyon nila doon. According nga to Dinesh, this is the reality between the materialistic world and the part of the world who is trying to fulfill their basic needs by trying to fulfill the needs of the materialistic world. Top 6 is a 2013 film, The Wolf of Wall Street. Kasama niya naman dito si Margot Robbie aka Harley Quinn. The Wolf of Wall Street is the story of the world's greatest broker or salesman. If you are one of those people na may sobrang tataas na pangarap, yung tipong gusto maging milyonaryo, bilyonaryo, yung tipong gusto mapasayo lahat, then get ready your three hours for this. It is a very fun movie to watch with your friends, but not with your family or children. This is it! Top 5 is a 2010 film, The Shutter Island. Kasama niya dito si na Ben Kingsley, Michelle Williams, at Mark Ruffalo, a.k.a. Pope. This is a psychological masterpiece that will make you question your own sanity. Watch this carefully with an open mind and prepare to be blown away. Top 4 is a 2002 film, Catch Me If You Can. Kasama niya dito si na Amy Adams, a.k.a. Lois Lane, at ang isa sa mga best actors in film history, Tom Hanks. The fact that this movie was inspired by a real story like the previous one, The Wolf of Wall Street, really shows how some people are fantastically cunning and clever. The movie is about this young man who pretends to be a school teacher, a co-pilot, a doctor, and a lawyer. 
a very engaging story that will make you curious to see how it ends. Top 3 is a 2006 film, The Departed. Marami siyang kasamang magagaling na artista dito. Sina Alec Baldwin ng Mission Impossible at nagboses kay Boss Bibi. Si Vera Farmiga ng The Conjuring. Again, si Mark Wahlberg na kasama niya sa Basketball Diaries. The legendary Jack Nicholson. And of course, Matt Damon aka Jason Bourne. The story is about a police officer working for a criminal and an undercover cop in a criminal world working for a police. The question is, who's good? Who's bad? Who's working for who? Who can you trust? It's all about lies, betrayals, cheats, and sacrifices. Like The Wolf of Wall Street and The Shutter Island, this movie was directed by Martin Scorsese plus The Aviator and Gangs of New York. Top 2 is a 2010 film, The Inception. Kasama niya dito si Ellen Page ng Umbrella Academy, si Marion Cotillard, Michael King, Cillian Murphy, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, at Tom Hardy ng Dark Knight Trilogy na directed by Christopher Nolan na siya ding nag-direct ng movie na to. Kung meron pang din nakapanood nito, I highly recommend this. This is about a dream within 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 a dream. I can say that dream is very interesting topic. There are lots of questions in a dream world. Yung mga ganitong klaseng movie yung dapat nakafocus at nakakonsentrate ka hanggang dito. If gusto nyo pa ng another Leonardo DiCaprio at Tom Hardy chemistry, watch The Revenant. Finally, top 1. My top 1 is a 1997 film Wala siguro hindi nakakaalam nito. Walang kakupas-kupas. Walang kamatayan. Walang iba, kundi once upon a time in Hollywood. <laughs> Joke lang, of course. Of course, Titanic. Kasama niya dito si Kate Winslet as Rose. Jack and Rose created a very timeless classic masterpiece that can be watched over and over again and will never get old. Itong movie na to yung tipong kahit panoorin mo nang paulit-ulit, yung kahit panoorin mo siya ulit after a year, andun pa rin yung emotions, yung kilig, yung saya, yung lungkot, yung inis, yung iyak, yung kaba, yung kahit alam mo na yung ending, ang intense pa rin. Tapos sasabay yung panong kanta ni Sinindi yun na may heart will go on. I can say na this is one of the best movie of all time. Kung nabitin pa kayo sa tambala ni Jack and Rose, watch Revolutionary Road. Silang dalawa rin mag-partner doon. And that's it! My top 12 Leonardo DiCaprio movies. Again, this is based only on my own opinion, kung saan ako natuwa, kung saan ako nag-enjoy, kung saan ako nakarelate, overall. Let me know your rankings by dropping it down below sa comment sections. And I hope makatulong ako sa mga naghahanap ng mapapanood sa mga nagmo-movie trip, sa mga nagmo-movie marathon dyan, or sa mga naghahanap ng iba pang movies ni Leo na pwede panoorin. And sana help nyo rin ako by suggesting other movies ni Leo kung may hindi ako napanood, or other movies na similar sa mga to. And if may gusto rin kayong ma-feature na artista at mga movies niya, comment nyo lang din. Until next time, thank you, God bless. Wolf of Wall Street is the story of the, of the story is the story of the world's greatest power. Down to top eight. Top eight. <coughs> Down to top eight. <coughs> My top eight. <coughs> Down to top eight. <coughs> if you are one of those people na may sobrang tataas na pangarap, yung gusto maging bilyonaryo, yung tipong gusto mapasayo lahat. 